Hi guys, welcome back to some more games of freaking hate. But before we get started, look at this new chair. Look, look at this. Look at this. I got, I got a new chair. Mm -hmm. I got, I got it. I got a new. I got, I got a new. I got, I got a new chair. I got a new chair. Let's get started. Alright guys, what's going on? It's me Fredo. And uh Welcome to the second episode of my new series, The Games of Freaking Hate. I decided I wanted to change the format a little bit. Anyways, I wanted to change the format a little bit. I wanted it to become a little more formal. I mean, you know, not formal, but, you know, kind of informative. So, I decided, um, yeah, we'll just do this format. So, first, I'm going to talk about this game. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you some game. So, today's game that I really hate, it's called, what's it called? I don't even know. I don't even know. It's called Gravity Bone. It's a free to play. It's a it's a free game. Um, made. I'm guessing made by a couple of college kids. Um, but uh, it was very well designed. The things, the thing that makes me hate this game so much. It's so glitchy. I mean, I I kind of like the game the style of it, <laughs> but. The game crashes every time. Hate it when it crashes. So I thought this game was alright. Um, I don't think if you die, it crashes. If you die, it crashes. You gotta restart all over. So I'm just gonna show you guys some gameplay. Here we go. Alright, so here's. You know the title screen and whatnot. This is how it looks. Um, it puts you straight into the game. You just press escape and it takes you here. First thing that I found wrong with this is the sound is freaking loud. I find it really loud. The, just the music. I don't. And it, it, it can't get any softer than 10%, and I still find that pretty loud. So. We're just gonna leave that. The controls are alright. Uh, the display, my only problem is it can't be transferred into 720. I mean, 1280 by 720. Not really a big deal. Alright, so let's get started. So, I like the style of this game, you know. The blockheads. Um, it, obviously, because it's a game... You know, created by college students, and you know, it was probably created by college students. But uh, I think it's kind of weird that it goes straight into the game without giving you any background info. So that's that's one thing that I don't like. Right here, you have to wait for those people to open it, and if you miss it, you can't go through. Um, I like how they put you know signs and stuff right here to tell you what to do. There's another sign. I think the audio on this part could be a little bit better. Because it just sounds... It sounds... In the, in the game, it sounds very weird when she tries to talk. You can make sense of what she's saying, but it's really hard to... You know figure out what she's saying without that audio or without that message right there telling you what to do. It shows some it shows some uh, comedy and whatnot. But when you die you load up again. And then you just keep going. Last time however 
when I was playing this game, it constantly started freezing up and whatnot. Right now, it's not as bad. So, I think it's just a recording problem. Um, second thing. You can't sprint or anything. You have to do... You can only walk, which is relatively flat, fast. I don't mind that, but I just think it's a little weird that you can't run in this type of game because usually the situations consist of you running. Again, here I find poor audio transcribed. I mean, it was probably, the audio that was used was probably, um, they probably meant to use this type of audio, but sometimes if you have really bad sound systems and whatnot, it's going to be really hard to understand them. <laughs> and plus, this is a short game, so I guess it doesn't really matter. <coughs> Alright. The second problem that I found out was when you talk to people, I mean, you can't really talk to them. But if you can hear what they're saying, they all say the same thing. There's no distinction between men and women. I like this little note thing right here, but still, again. You know, still. Um, yeah, if you die, you gotta restart. And it doesn't, it auto saves at really weird part, so. Oh, see, there we go. When you try to load up, it starts crashing. And I find that really big problem. I don't like that at all. Another thing I found out with this game was whenever you die or it crashes, or whenever you restart it, it doesn't save your settings. Uh, the audio always goes back all the way full up and you always gotta change it. You gotta reset it so it's not in full screen anymore. I mean, it's not really big of a problem, but still. I find it kind of, eh. I mean, but it's still really good quality for a game designed probably by two people. And another thing is the gameplay is a little short. Um, you know, obviously, it it's only this is the last level in the game. I mean, if you really want to try it out, I'm showing you basically everything on this. So I don't, I don't, I wouldn't. After seeing this video, I wouldn't try playing it unless you really wanted to. I think it would just be a waste because. I, don't know. I just think it's kind of yeah, makes sense. Another problem I found out is the missions are kind of weird. It tells you to take pictures of five birds. Well, in here, when you take a picture, the bird explodes. I'm not really sure why. The bird just explodes. It just, it commits suicide, which I it, it's it's pretty funny, but I really don't understand. It's kind of like oh, all right, what just happened? Another explosion. Another bad thing is. These poles, you, you're supposed to jump on these poles, but they're really thin. So if you miss, you die, and then the game crashes. Especially right here. If you miss that, and you fall, and die, and you try to load it back up, usually it'll crash. Like that. Starting over is really kind of hard because the sound goes up all the way. So you gotta set it back down. You gotta set the display to what you want. It automatically goes into full screen. And you know, I don't mind that, but I just think it gets a little annoying after a while.
Alright, so we're back here. Now let's try not to die this time. Still the same thing with the birds and whatnot. You know. They explode. Not really sure why. And when you press escape to go to the main menu, it crashes too. Not really sure why, but it just does. Alright. I decided to give this game one more ch Oh, what the- my screen went black. I decided to give this game one more chance before I, like, totally kill myself because of this. I've been trying to upload multiple times, but you know what? It keeps crashing. I don't know why. Alright. So, yeah. Alright, here we go. Still the same old voice, whatever. Another problem. Why do you, like, lay on the ground, but, like, it's like your body's, like, inside the floor. I don't get it. What's up with her feet? She's on her knees. What the heck? And like, I don't, I don't know. And another thing, she's super fast. I don't understand, you know, why in the game she's so freaking fast. Why can't, like, we run at, like, the same speed almost? You're not good enough? Apparently not. Gosh dang. So yeah, basically, that's all I gotta say about this game. Thank you. Ooh. I'm gonna kill you. I think it's dumb that... I don't like it. I just don't like it. Look, holy crap, why does she run so freaking fast? And yeah. What, I was sitting right there, why am I right here now? So, I don't... This game, I think it's weird. The main reason why it's on my hate list is because it's freaking just, it's kind of random almost. You know, the plot's a little, eh. Um, another thing, I just don't, I don't, it's, it crashes. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just... Overall, it's a pretty good game for a short game like this, but still, I don't like it. I used to, but then it kept crashing. <sighs> Why? And there you have it. Um... I don't even know where I'm going. Overall... This game's alright. I just don't like it. I just don't like how it crashes a lot. But you know, if you want to try it out, go ahead. It's pretty, it's a really fast game. Um, it was designed well. I think it could have a better plot if it kept going because, you know, it just puts you in the situation without telling you anything. I mean, it's pretty cool, but I think it needs a better plot and whatnot. Um, I think it's alright. I don't necessarily hate it, but eh. If I would put it on the spectrum of hate, I would probably say I'd give this like a I don't know. Probably a 3 out of 10 on the hate scale. Um Yeah. So yeah, basically that's it. It's an alright game. 
I still wouldn't really recommend it, but if you want to try it out, go ahead. Uh, yeah. So if you guys think there would be any games that I would really hate, I hate a lot of games. Then go ahead and send me a link to it or, you know, comment on this video. Tell me, oh, go check out this, you know, this video. You totally hate it. Or let's see what you think of it and whatnot. So, yeah, rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want, like this video, whatever. I don't know, whatever you want, whatever you, whatever you want. My name's Inferno. I'll see you guys later.